Our next helper is a grammarian, and that is April Akodaka. Please explain the word, uh, the word of the day and the role of the grammarian. Our first speaker is Mr. Robert C. Davis, relations with the National Auto Dealers Association. He was also participated in the university programs uh, to uh, look at what it takes to do the business well. And uh, so it's a very, very valuable work, very important social organizations. People kind of gloss over and uh, we don't look enough at whether or not the people that we're asking to do things are fully capable of those. You're not going to have a successful next uh, is empowerment. And by that, I'm not talking about um, the kind of empowerment that we saw. Uh, maybe it was the best example was in the 80s. It's, they've got to work in. And that's why it's accountable. And that we reward them for the products and relevant services and relevant as how the company can be successful. So um, I, uh, one of the things that I challenge, some of you know this, but one of the things I get to the point, and then you just kind of go, one. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Well, I want the minimum requirement of is one minute. And try to get you involved. In <laughs> and exhibit the acumen of the uh, Toastmaster who knows how to do the tabletop. <laughs> Anybody can look at it. So what is the oh. You have to calculate. Efforts at Toyota. He was recently honored in the 2011 CEO Diversity Leadership Award presented by Diversity Best Practices. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, we talked about communication. I just want to give you when you make presentations or if you're in a meet. And the first one, it's going to sound like I have this backwards, is experience. Experience is key. There are 30 salespeople. They always love to hear, I've just done my job as a district manager came in. But I said, okay, I'll, I'll look for this experience. So translating that to what you do, it can be as simple as what's on the group's mind. I call a few people, I go through it. And I tell you the mistake I used to make. I used to make the mistake that I felt like I had to cover every single point that was on that outline. And what I realized after a while, I try to emulate. Uh, there was somebody who worked for me years ago in a sales job who wasn't a rah-rah person. And they got up and tried to do rah-rah speech minutes. I will tell you, frankly, there were 5 or 10% of people, probably 5%. Uh, you know, that's my advice for what it's worth, you know, at all. And I actually try to make myself nervous. Because if I can heighten my anxiety, I become much more. Hopefully it's funny and everybody enjoys it. But I, I bombed my share of times. And, then that digs you a hole that <laughs> you can't wait to various levels. And try to look to make it as comfortable for people as possible. So if you could create an awareness in yourself of where people are to your advice. On a scale of one to ten, I'd give myself about a four. <laughs> that was a little weak. The first answer I would give myself a six or a seven that I think highly of them or something like that. So I think I think the self-awareness gene is an underrated gene, but I think it's absolutely essential. People, <laughs> okay, that's all right.